Good morning, my beautiful people. My name is Mike Vasile, and in today's video, we're gonna go talk about the 10 best online jobs that will pay you, I'm talking about you, 20 to $200 an hour this year. So that being said, cue the intro. Good morning, my beautiful people. My name is Mike Vasile. Welcome to the channel. If you are new to this channel and you want to learn how to make more money online, how to create passive income for yourself, how to learn how to invest it to create ultimate freedom for yourself, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will get notified whenever I drop more of these videos. With that being said, for everybody that has been a part of this family, I am so excited to go and talk about this online jobs and online businesses because of the fact that we are moving in this new era like you feel it i feel it your mom your dad your husband your wife they all feel it we are moving into this new economy we no longer have to be confined by the four walls of our cubicle we no longer have to drive for an hour or two in rush hour to just waste all of our time going to a job that we don't no longer like and the thing about people right now is more and more people every single day are using these 10 jobs, even though they have had never experienced in these 10 jobs before, to start working from home so that they could spend more of their time with their family, with their loved ones, and actually winning back their time and getting some peace of mind, which is what we really want at the end of the day. And the thing about these 10 things is Anybody can do these as long as you know where to find these jobs. And I already hear it. Well, Mike, I don't have any experience. That's fine. You don't need any experience. Oh, well, Mike, I've never done anything online before. That's fine. You don't need to do anything online before. I'm going to tell you why there's a growing demand for people just like you who have the ability to learn just a couple of new things to actually start making some serious income. Okay, guys, so let's just go straight into it. The first one is known as a Pinterest account manager. So what is a Pinterest account manager? Well, it's someone that actually gets paid $60 an hour. Look at this, $40,000 earned, and she lives in the United States. So anybody who likes Pinterest, who enjoys Pinterest, who has understands how Pinterest works and even knows how to create these images, which is free to create on Canva, could get paid up to $60 an hour. She's made over 40 grand just because she enjoys Pinterest, right? And all essentially what it is, is for example, entrepreneurs like me need someone to create these images that are just very simple to create uh, because it, it takes like our time away from the actual business. And instead we're willing to pay somebody 20 to $60 an hour to just create these simple images that you could create on canva.com. Now here's the craziest thing. You don't need any experience. You don't need a college degree from this. You don't need any background experience. You just need to be somebody that loves using Pinterest and knows which pinnable images actually does well. You know, and we've created a full tutorial on Pinterest. I could just put it in the link below. If you don't know how to use Pinterest, this is still something that if you learned the tips and tricks that I actually give all away for free in the previous video when we were talking about how to make money with Pinterest, you could get paid $60 per hour doing that. Just imagine how amazing that is to just literally create images, pin some stuff, um, put it up there, and then you get paid money. This is the most amazing thing ever, and this is just one of those jobs. Now, the second thing is also known as a community manager. So you can see that this person's from Greece, and he gets paid $25 an hour. So you're probably wondering, well, Mike, what is a community manager? Well, a lot of entrepreneurs sell online courses, right? And with these online courses, a lot of customers come in, and you could have hundreds, if not thousands of people in a Facebook group that are constantly asking questions. But the problem for the entrepreneur that is selling the course is he can't or she can't spend all of the time in the Facebook group because then it takes away from you know increasing sales or marketing or cr focusing on the business in itself. So what is required, what, what there's a growing demand for is people that could actually manage these communities. So this is somebody that, like I said, doesn't have to have a college degree, doesn't need to have any background experience. They just have to be a good people person. And how this works is the moment you get hired, you just go to Upwork and uh, create a listing where you want to be a social media manager or community manager. And essentially what happens is the entrepreneur will have a long list of frequently asked questions that he knows or she knows that his community would normally ask, especially if they're new customers, right? So all you're literally doing is managing these Facebook groups and answering the questions 
based off of what is in this document, this frequently asked questions that the entrepreneur gives you. Now, sometimes, of course, people may ask a question that isn't necessarily on the document. So all you really need to do is just bring this question to the person who's creating the course and say, hey, you know, this question isn't on the document. How do we handle a question like this? Which of course, you know, someone like me would then tell you the answer and then we just put that in the document. So it's a very easy go lucky job. You know, you're just somebody that needs to do well with people. You need to be okay with um, treating people good. And you need to be really good at just, you know, caring for people because they just bought a program. They're in the community. They want to feel welcome. So if you are a people person, if you're someone that just loves helping people and loves supporting them on your their journey, it's something that could easily pay you $25 an hour. Now, the third job that pays $42 an hour, and this is from someone in Ukraine. So imagine Imagine if you are, are American and you have an American accent and you're really good at that. You could even charge even more, right? You don't need to have a college degree. And if anything, the first link below, we teach you how to use Facebook ads as well. But this is something, if you understand Facebook ads, this is a very, very lucrative online job. You know, people get paid an extra $2,000 a month for simply running the ads of an entrepreneur. And the thing about these ads is they maybe take at most 30 minutes a day to run and to manage. So you could have multiple clients that you work for that you have an online job for, and you could get like $2,000 here, $2,000 there, $2,000 there. And before you know it, you have a pretty stable job for multiple different bosses that is really versatile. And you never have to worry about losing a job like what you would normally do if you're just depending on one job from a paycheck. With this skill, you're able to get not just $42 an hour, but you could have multiple jobs going on at once. You're not dependent on just one client. And as you can see right here, you know, $42 an hour. This one's $40 an hour from Netherlands. This person from Ukraine has made over a hundred grand. This person from Netherlands has made over 3000. This person from Hungary charges over $40 an hour. You could see just how lucrative this is. $75 an hour and $20,000 earned from Ireland. Like I said, first link in the description, we're gonna teach you how to use Facebook ads to actually sell this as a service. Now, the fourth thing, we talk about this a lot, and this is just a proofreading job. You know, a lot of entrepreneurs like me, we write blog articles, we write content, uh, and we don't have the time to actually look at all the intricacies because it, it, we, we just need to focus on more other things which is why we go to Upwork and hire out a supportive role like proofreading. And you can see $100 an hour, $3,000 earned from the United States, 20 grand earned, $37 an hour, and also from the United States. If you're somebody that is a grammar Nazi and you wanna always see what people are misspelling on or if someone texts you and you're like, wow, that's annoying, they misspelled that word. This is perfect for you. You can see you get paid $40 to $37 to $100 an hour. $50 an hour, all of these are US jobs. If they're able to do it, why can't you? And uh, I don't know, this is something that anybody can do. We have another video, I'll put it below, on the proofreading job qualifications and how you could get started and other websites you could go to other than just upwork.com. But like I said, all these people are making a living from it. A lot of them are doing way more than $30 an hour. Um, and they're doing this from anywhere in the world. So it's something that I would definitely recommend. Now, the fifth one is bookkeeping. Now, you know, like in, in a lot of ORD corporations, there's always like an accounting department. And those are the people that like crunch the numbers and you always see them typing on calculators to do accounting. Because a lot of people are now doing online businesses, it requires a lot of online jobs to support those online businesses. In the olden days, you would have to have a physical brick and mortar business and you would have the accounting department in that location in a physical office. But now because a lot of people are having online businesses and taking online payments, they now need online accounting. And this is what bookkeeping is. This is where we hire our bookkeepers. Uh, we help that we have them manage our numbers and uh, look at our profit and loss statements. So if you're really good with numbers, you could apply for this as well. Uh, you could see this person's from the United States, $40 an hour, $2,000 earned. This person is from United States, seven grand earned, $43 an hour, $100 an hour, and she's made over 40 grand from the United States. 
So you can see if you're somebody that is good with numbers that has the propensity or the affinity to learn how to become a bookkeeper, you could see that, you know, the qualifications are a lot less than what you would think if you were going to apply for a, a big prestigious job in New York or California where they require a degree, right? Here, you just have to be good with numbers. You have to maybe have some experience. You maybe need to understand how to do bookkeeping. But like I said, you know, when, when we hire bookkeepers, we don't look for their degrees. We don't look for the colleges they went through. We just need to know that they're good with numbers and they're really good at giving us our profit and loss statements. So the sixth one is also a very easy job. Look at this, $30 an hour, United States, $10,000 earned. And this is becoming a virtual assistant. So same way where, like I said, a lot of online businesses are now moving into the online world. There's also gonna need to have a lot of good virtual assistants, people that would normally do the assistant work in person, like at these corporations, but now they could do it from the luxury of their laptop from anywhere in the world. And, and look at this, $25 an hour, $15 an hour, United States, $25, $1,000 earned. This one's from Poland, $35 an hour, $25 an hour from the Philippines. And she's made up more than nine grand. Germany, 10 grand, $35 an hour. You could see that a lot of these people are doing well, $200,000 earned from South Africa, $45 an hour. And you could see that if we just pull up any of their accounts, she just talks about the previous online businesses that she worked with. And that's why it's like very important because as you can see, online businesses are the thing of the future, meaning online jobs will only increase. And if you're somebody that doesn't like going in rush hour to your job all the time, you could take the same skill sets that you already have and you could start going and working for the online business equivalent of your job. If you're working a job right now, there is probably an online business competitor that will actually pay you more because they have less overhead costs. And as you can see, like I said, this is just their experience. They just work from all of these things. But if you had a previous job, you could put your experience on here as well. Instead of applying for these physical locations, why not just try and focusing on an online job? You get paid way more, $45 per hour from anywhere in the world. So the seventh thing is, of course, freelance writing. We talk about this all the time. I'll put all the previous videos below on exactly how to do it. A lot of people need content written on their blogs as well as transcribing things on their videos. So for example, I run a podcast. I make a bunch of videos. I'm not necessarily going to type everything that I talk about in the videos. So I would come here, hire a freelance writer and have them transcribe my entire video um, in English so that people that like reading could actually just like read the podcast itself. That way I could just focus on creating more video content and I'm not necessarily the one that writes it. So you could see this person's in Thailand, $44 an hour. This person is in the United States, $75 an hour. She's made over 90 grand. You could see that, you know, a lot of success stories here and anybody can do it. Now, this one is off of the Upwork platform and it's the not, it's the eighth thing. I think it's the eighth thing that we're talking about. So GitHub is a software company that hires software, software engineers, engineers, and customer service reps. And if you get accepted to this, they'll actually pay you upwards to $60,000 a year, a remote job. So my dad's an engineer, right? Or he was an engineer before he retired, but he had to go to a physical location every single day. He had to go on the train for an hour every single day to go to a place where he would spend some time and then come back home another hour of his life. And he did that over and over and over again. If you're an engineer and you were like, well, okay, I'm a good physical engineer, but I can't do anything online. Here's one of those things that you could actually work for. All you got to do is just go check out for their open positions, apply like how you would normally apply for a regular job. But here you do it all virtually. It's all online. And it's something that if you have more of like an engineer type personality, it's something that I would actually apply for. The ninth one is Buffer, which is a social media management company. They're also looking for hiring customer service reps, software developers, engineers, data analysis. All you got to do is just go here, see the open roles and just apply for anything that you feel like you would qualify. But for all of these, I would just recommend trying all of these because all of these job positions, all you need is one to begin to work remotely and start getting paid 20 to $200 an hour. And the last thing that I would actually recommend is documenting this entire process, starting a blog, because you could actually make money with you trying to find an online job because the entire demand of the world right now is moving to the online world. And if you could just document your process and share how you're actually getting these jobs, that is extremely valuable. 
There are people that are selling products and services, teaching other people how to actually get online jobs because more and more people are starting to realize the importance of working in the online world. And if that's something that you want to get started with, like I said, the second link in the description will teach you how to do it for free. Just follow the steps and you guys can know exactly how to do it. But do you guys understand just how much potential there exists in the world, especially when it comes to the online landscape of things? Because of what has happened with, you know, the world shutting down for a bit, like everybody experiencing quarantine for the first time in their entire lives and them realizing, wow, you know, I can't really do the thing that I was traditionally supposed to do, what ha that has done is it made the world kind of progress faster into the online world. We're starting to realize that we don't actually have to go to the grocery store. We could get online delivery. We don't have to go to a job. We have an online job. We have things like Zoom. We could do all the things that we would normally do in a physical location. We could now do it in a virtual location. And this is where the future is going. And the thing is, People are going to fight this. They're going to be like, oh, you know, this is so different than what I'm so used to. I, I don't know. I, I'm afraid of learning these new skills. But I'm telling you this right now. We are in this time where we need to adapt. And the ones that do not adapt will be forced to suffer the consequences. And this is just why I'm making these videos for you guys to understand just how much opportunity there is out there. Like you could see people making $44 an hour, $45 an hour. $100 an hour, all of these things of jobs that don't require you to even own a car anymore because you could just do this from home. You could do this from a different country. You could do this from the beach. You could do this from traveling around the world. It doesn't matter because the world now is moving to this direction. So hopefully this helps guys. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Which of these jobs do you, would you see yourself in, let me know in the comments below. Um, and don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe and a notification bell if you want more videos like this. And guys, like I said, I'm starting a second channel where I'm going to be mo talking more about mindset, lifestyle, and more raw reigns about just, you know, personal development. So make sure you subscribe to the second channel below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy, guys. Love you. Peace out.